Roll the intro music. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Hey, what's up you guys? It's your boys. Oh fuck. I was going to say like YouTube. Hey, what's up guys? It's your boy Where's Ken? Welcome to Two Brown and Down. <laughs> this is uh episode 22. We've been on a little bit of a hiatus right now. We got the dog here with us today. Say hi, Sunny. Dude, nice. Um like blue schools. First, we just like to talk about oh the date and time. It is uh, it's February twenty third, twenty twenty one. Time's actually seven forty five, so this is a late one for us. Nightcap. <laughs> for more funny content, uh, follow Kulata's TikTok, Twitch, and Instagram. <laughs> what? What are you, you oh, oh, uh, Twitch is Where's Ken, TikTok is Where's Ken with two ends, and YouTube is now Where's Ken. And my Instagram is Brownie Ken with two ends. Brownie Ken. I post occasionally, uh, some pretty cool stuff. Follow me at Jamaramaram for seeing what I do in my life. <laughs> I recorded lightning one time, that was pretty scary. You did what? Recorded lightning. Recorded lightning. Yeah, there was like a lightning storm happening outside, and I was like, went out and recorded it, and I was like, oh, this is cool. And it was like lighting up the whole sky. I think I've seen that. I think I just saw the picture of it, though. Yeah, the first one it. was a picture, and the second one was it happening. Yeah. Um. So, Ken, have you read the news lately? My name is Lada. Hey, my name is Lada. <laughs> have you read a lot of news lately? <laughs> No, I oh, have so not. You're trying to segue. This is stuff Lada doesn't read about. <laughs> no, I'm introducing. I'm Lada, and you're oh Ram, and this is stuff Lada doesn't read about. Jesus, it's been too long. Uh, this past week, I don't know if you know this. There's been snowstorms ravaging Texas. I heard about the snowstorms. Yeah, and yeah. they've been like, we need we need money for power, and the country like all of the north are like, fuck you, Jesus. <laughs> I deal with snow every fucking year. <laughs> Fucking deal with it. Yeah, basically. Uh, but I mean, I thought you were big, back, big bad Texas. Now you want our monies? Yeah, just shoot the snow out of the sky. Yeah. So <laughs> they've been dealing with that. I mean, it's kind of funny, but some people are like actually not having a great time. Yeah, I mean, that state's not like prepared for things like that. Yeah, it doesn't absolutely. Happen. Did they? And they're on their like own. Reason? So they're on their own power grid. Yeah. So the snowstorm knocked out their power grid. Uh huh. So it fucked up. Like a whole section of power for the whole state, whereas nice. like the country, like what's it called, uh, California, for example, gets their power from Arizona. Like that's how that's where the facilities are. Oh, like okay. That's where it starts. You know I what I mean? I forgot to start this. That's good. We're on a good time frame. Okay. okay. Um. So, with that happening, do you know who uh, one of the representatives of Texas is? Uh, Doug Dimitome. An old <laughs> little man named Ted Cruz. Um, oh, yeah, yeah. Didn't he run for president? He did run for president. Nice. And they said that, one, he looked nice. like the Zodiac Killer, and two, they said that he looked like... The dude from The Office. The dude from The Office. Yeah, yeah they have that sign that's like, <laughs> yeah, he just... want answers! <laughs> exactly. Right? Yeah. So, yeah. Ted Cruz has been the butt of a lot of jokes, and he's, in more recent times, like this past year for sure... Has been trying to be more like hip. He like grew out a beard, and he's like trying to be like, huh, I'm a cool, I'm a cool like relevant Twitter social guy. You know what I mean? Yeah, he's a uh, he's the senator for New York, Texas. Nice, I was close. Yeah, <laughs> same same. Cool. Cool. <laughs> um, God damn it! So Why are we doing this segment? <laughs> in in uh, doing in the snowstorm happening, you know where Ted Cruz went. Left Texas. He left Texas nice. and took a little trip to uh, Italy. Cancun. Cancun. Oh wow. Cancun, Mexico. And wow. you know what Cancun's like that this time of year, right? No snow. No snow. Nice, yeah. warm, and sunny. So he, <laughs> that fucking sucks. They found out the state and the whole country found out that he fucking just dipped, dipped out. out with his family. Like fuck this, I ain't dealing with this. Oh my snow. god. Right, and everybody was in an uproar. Like, Jesus. Super mad. So he came back. He did an interview to try and save face. 
And what was his excuse for going to Cancun? If you were Tamales. trying to go to Cancun to avoid a snowstorm, comment below and say what your excuse would be. His <laughs> excuse was, oh, well, my daughters really wanted to go, so why should I... Why couldn't I just fulfill what they wanted to do? Uh, you know? Yeah, because you don't have a whole state to take care of. And, yep, and everybody's uh, like... That's my Homer impression. <laughs> everybody's <laughs> all like, you're the senator of Texas. What are you talking about? Yeah. Like, you got, you got a job here, man. So, and he was like, well, I was going to ro- ro- work remotely from home or from the hotel in Cancun. What the fuck is he going to do? Just fucking send emails out to, to fucking save yeah, people? Like, stuff. that's fucked so up. So, in, while that's happening, on the other side of the country, the senator of New York, uh, Ocasio, Ocasio-Cortez, mm-hmm. um, who everybody says is a communist and she's trying to ruin the country, um, ended up raising, I think, like two to three million dollars in aid for Texas for the state of Texas, for wow. like food drives and like trying to get people's power back online, trying to provide heat for people, right? Because it's wow. way colder than they used to. Yeah. Um, Is that snowstorm still happening? No, right? It happened know. already, right? Yeah, I think it already happened. Because I remember like seeing a lot of pictures and shit. Recouping, recouping from it. Oh, dude. And how unfortunate that like you know snow days for school doesn't even count anymore because yeah, they're all online. They're all <laughs> Everybody still get on the fucking computer. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, if they have no power, I've, yeah. How else do you think people were affected uh, in real life from COVID? <laughs> segway. Welcome to my segue. Hanging out with friends. <laughs> wow, Ram. That was a great topic. I thought you had more stuff to talk about. Oh, I, could, I don't know. All right. I keep oh, going. No, no, we're good. This, uh, <laughs> one of the mayors of Texas did this super long post that was like, Listen, I got something to say. I'm the mayor of blah, blah, blah. And I want the people of Texas to know that the government doesn't owe you anything. Yeah. They're like, you need, this government was built on the will of strong people. Or this uh, country. This country was built on the will of strong people. And if you're having a hard time, you need to figure it out for you and your family. Oh, my God. Yeah, he's not the mayor anymore. Holy shit. Was that an interview? That was on Facebook. <laughs> oh he, my god! He resigned god, dude. immediately after that. That's hilarious. Um, if Doug Demidone was up there, because everybody was like, "Doesn't owe us anything." Motherfucker, tax? What's talk about? <laughs> Pay taxes for a reason. Yeah, for stuff like this. You. Yeah, they're literally paying you with taxes. Is that how taxes work? Yes. All right, cool. Oh, did you know that Tiger Woods? Got into a car I told accident. This motherfucker about this, <laughs> and now actually, he can't play for the NBA. He's not. He's a golfer. <laughs> actually, dude, it was, like I saw the news. Happy golfer day. On um, when I was on, it was like on the TV when I was at the gym today. Like up top. Oh yeah, yeah, the ones that we can go to on base. Oh shit, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. they have TVs there. And I saw somebody post about it on Facebook, and they posted a picture of. An episode of South Park where Tiger Woods gets run over by a car. And they're like, coincidence? I think, <laughs> I think not. not. <laughs> Was this just like a, a gag fucking like news thing? No, it's real. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, shit. Jesus. <laughs> he really got his legs crushed. Um, if you didn't know, you need legs to play golf. Wait. He got in that bad of an accident? Yeah, a single car crash. A single car. Yeah, one car got crashed. And his legs got fucked up? Yeah. Oh my god. He was like going into surgery is what I was reading on the Holy report. shit. So you for sure can't go to the NBA. Thanks a lot, 2021. <laughs> yeah. First you take Kobe back in 2020. And now oh fucking my god, old dude. T. Woods. And we all thought it was going to get better. Yeah. I mean, it shit happens every year, but I feel like people are all at home now to, yeah, to, to, get read, shit to read the news and shit like that and watch the news. But going back to that wonderful segue, Ram, how COVID affected us. How COVID affected us and our friends in real life, and now we've produced many new friends online. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> so I, I'm a big proponent of hanging out. I really like, I don't have what people would call a uh, social gas tank or social meter or whatever it's yeah, called. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where you just can't t- Like, like you're can't like, oh, anymore. I'm just tired of hanging out with people. Yeah. Like, I could hang out with people... Don't get me wrong, I like my own time, but 
Like, I hang out with people seven days a week. And yeah, have, and still be okay with yeah. going out again the next week. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. I got you. you don't have a cool down. No, no CD. No CDR CD. is huge over here. Yeah, your Q is good. CDR is good. Yeah. How do you know that? Dude, I play you used RuneScape. To play? What? It's on RuneScape? No, it's League. Yeah, I know that. It, what? <laughs> nerd. What the fuck nerd, is... Bro. What is happening? Anyways. I said, how did you know that? You said it's RuneScape. All right, either way. I mean, RuneScape has a... Cool, um, cool. We're not so... Have you have So, you me... You good? She's just a baby. So, um, obviously, I don't, like, go out now in, like... Yeah. Big groups. Yeah. Because usually, it'd be, like... You and say three, two friends go out, right? And those two friends invite like one other person, and that one other person brings like two people with them, and then like those people tell somebody that like somebody like, oh, we're going out over here if you want to meet. Up. Hey, everybody, cool, this guy meeting up, and though that person brings like four people with them, and what started out is like, <laughs> what started out is like a nice night of like three friends hanging out, getting some drinks, turns into like fifteen people fucking raging till four a.m. And that's that's Rams Mondays. <laughs> Um, Yo, you good? <laughs> and so, uh, obviously, we can't do that anymore because yeah. nothing stays open that late, yeah. and you know, people are kind of weary of going out in big groups like that. Um, yeah. I think it's like a maximum of ten people now. Right? Yeah, exactly. So I have like my group of friends that I hang out with normally. Sometimes we'll Lead this way. That. huh? Lead this way. Fucking <laughs> um, <laughs> you bought. I'm very relaxed right now. <laughs> it's the premiere. It is premiere. Today's episode is not sponsored by Corona Premier. Yeah, only by Corona. Where you can get 90 <laughs> calories and 2.6 carbs. I don't know why. Per bottle. I thought well, as soon as you picked it up, it's just gonna all you fall through and shatter. <laughs> um. So yeah, that's something that I can't do anymore. Yeah, I mean, I was one of those friends too. Yeah, he was. He was going out, but now I don't go out anymore. What do you do? <laughs> but now I have a good amount of friends on line which kind of sounds sad but it's kind of how it really is now like don't get me wrong we have like our co-workers and friends out in town I'm but just the only person he hangs out with in real life but just because <laughs> of what's going on with covid you know like that's that's kind of stopped a lot of people from going out because of the risk it could take you know yeah and plus we're not allowed to yeah that too and um but like just past what uh the holidays and things like that uh we've definitely gotten a lot more friends online uh through the discord app are you good the discord app and um we both joined the group called fusion gaming oh name drop emer joe that's all for you guys anyways but yeah we've uh, put it right here the thing make the graphic right here. oh yeah yeah keep holding it that's good, that's good. Now, yeah, elbows in. Can you touch your elbows? Yeah. Fucking idiot. <laughs> For you listening, <laughs> I'm just trying to touch my elbows together, and he touched his elbow with his hand. Because the instruction was, can you touch your elbows? Oh, my God. Uh, but anyways, uh, yeah, we definitely made a lot more friends online throughout this, like, time of COVID, you know? And... It's been really some cool. British people. Yeah, British. Some Irish people. Irish people. People. Um, so. People from Pennsylvania all over the <laughs> All over the... Country. All over the... Shout out to you, NA. Golden Girl. <laughs> and uh, like the Philippines. I think uh, Philippines? Singapore. Really? Yeah. Singapore, know. Sweden. You know, it's just like literally all over the world that we, we have people in this group, which is crazy. And I think we hit like 500 plus uh, members think in like january or something like that and i've never really like done stuff like this before because i mean i've had a discord but it was just to talk to my friends that i already knew i've never yeah. like joined a group that i wasn't already knowing the people um you're killing the harsh you're harsh and the mellow here dude um so like they have this chat called everyone chat and i thought like they would be playing a game or something yeah um, so I would like kind of stay away from it. I don't want to like infringe on upon what's going on in the chat. But then one day I was like, whatever, like everybody's in it. There's like more than whatever game we play that could handle it. Yeah. You know I mean? There would be like eight people or yeah, something. Yeah. So like, I know. click into it and like one person's doing homework and like a couple are playing like games by themselves. A couple are playing games together. Yeah. 
And so it was at that point that I realized, like, oh, wow, people are just, like, it's like you go to a room to hang out, yeah. but it's just your voice. Yeah. I was like, oh, okay, this is, like, a thing. It's just everybody hanging out, having a, you know, good time, yeah. cracking jokes at each other. Because everyone's just at home. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> everybody just can't go anywhere. Yeah. But, I mean, there's also those separate chats where, like, if you want to do play a game and yeah, you just like, want your group of five, like, if you want, like, a group of three or whatever, you know, they have those separate chats. But that's, like, a, for everybody, everybody's Discord, right? But I think just, like, the end of last year and then now till till now, I've definitely been a lot more involved in this Discord, which is great. Definitely been meeting a lot of new people, a lot of great people. And it's, yeah, it's sure. come They're to that point really cool. where I've... I'm kind of pushing to have them as like friends, like in IRL. Like I went, I went to go visit a couple of them in like Maryland and in Pennsylvania, and I'm planning to like visit at least all the ones in North America. Yeah. When I go back to California. So, so. when you like visit them, when you visited the people in Maryland and Pennsylvania, uh, did you feel like maybe their online persona was different, or they're just like the same? No, nope. they were actually just the same. Yeah. I was actually really surprised too. But it's like... You get catfished and Doc is just like some old white woman. <laughs> You're just a Karen. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's their their personality and just how they are, it's like, it's very, exactly the same how the, it is through Discord. Yeah. And it's like, yeah, you can just be talking through voice chat, but there's the, obviously that uh, vo- video chats as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like almost like you're there. I feel like everybody, even uh, if you don't know people, like, let's loose. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I'm... My my humor is a little cruder than most, so like I have to like, I have to to learn. I have learn to gauge everybody first and see what's up with everybody because yeah. I can like say funny jokes that are like not crude, mm-hmm. but I like to say crude jokes. Those are more fun for me. Yeah, like the the movie, the the, K- the crudes. Yeah, it's not the same spelling. Oh, uh, I'll drink to that. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, it's. It's so sad. It's so weird to say it out loud, but it's like we we hang out with each other. We hang out with each other every day because we play video games almost every day. Yeah. And like, are you talking about you and I? Uh, no. I gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> Just in general, with that group and then our friends from work, like we play video games almost every day, and it's like, you know, oh hey, what are you doing? What, what game are you playing? You know. Yeah, yeah. And then we just talk. You know, we sometimes sometimes put up the video, or like you know. We can't go to bars, so we just drink here or yeah, something like that. Yeah, I want to get in on one of those. I haven't been yeah. able to. Where you, they just all like play video games and chat. And drink. Like, and drink. And everybody just, just gets <laughs> drunk. Oh, my God. Jeez. Online. Do you Jesus. need to poop? She might need to poop. Okay. All right, I'm going to go poop. He's going to take me outside. <laughs> Drinking and playing video games right. with friends. Um, yeah, I've been wanting to get in on one of those. Yeah, it's really chill. I mean... Um, and it's to the point, like, last night it was pretty bad, because I couldn't even function playing video games. But it was, it's pretty fun, though. Like, there there was some nights, like, early on when everybody was available, like, we would literally just hang out, drink, and just talk. Yeah. Like, there would be, like, at least ten of us in there just chilling. But it just had, like, everyone's schedules are different now, so it's kind of hard to get everybody again together. Yeah. Well, I mean... But, I mean, that's what's kind of nice, because everybody can just get in there whenever, you know? Yeah, it's very inviting. I, like... It's a good group of people, for sure. Um, but, I mean, that's also our way to, like, find people to play with, things like that. Like, yeah. if you're looking for another person for, like, Apex or Valorant or, you know, Raft or some shit. Like, it's a good, good like, bridge to find people. Fusion Gaming. The Discord link will be down below in the descriptions. I'll probably talk about that a little bit more later. Yeah. Then. Um, I mean, yeah, there's a lot of, a lot of cool... I mean, I've like played with a couple randos. Yeah. Uh, played with some people in there. Yeah, and I They're and I, funny. I also have. They have movie nights know. too. I like the movie. I did yeah. One movie night that was cool for me. I like movies. Yeah. As you guys know. <laughs> um. So I was like, ooh. I was like, t- it was started pretty late though, because everybody there's like obviously people like we said all different times around zones. the world, different yeah. times. So we started at like eleven. So I watched it for like an hour. I was like, all right. I'm, like, I'm gonna leave it on. What was it, Step Brothers? No, no, no. It old was school? old school. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was funny. I think I cut out when he like started streaking. <laughs> well, that was super early then. Yeah, I, I think I had work. No, I just. Is this a uh, coaster? Yeah, sure. Go ahead. You're an asshole. This <laughs> is fun. Yeah, whatever. Um. 
My friend had visited very recently, though. Yeah. Oh, your friend. Um, because he had to fly in from California to Maryland. Yeah. And and that's not that far from us. Yeah. <laughs> well, um, okay. Yeah. Pause. So we drove, or he drove down to Richmond, and I met him up in Richmond. Yeah. Um, when I was off on leave. Dude. And we hung out uh, up over there. Mm-hmm. Um, and he was saying how at his work, like it was a big process to get approved to gro- travel all the way across the country. Yeah. And they had to like, su- they had to find some way to deem it as like essential work or whatever. For them, for him to be allowed to travel? Yeah, to him to be allowed to travel out here. And so he told me like, I was like, so what'd you do when you got there? He's like, I was just watching other people work really <laughs> oh wow taking notes on what they were doing what a great job that is um, so <laughs> we'd be <laughs> like <laughs> trying to get food and stuff like that yeah like everything was kind of closed down or you know yeah. um everything was to go which was fine I guess but it was hard trying to find like one thing to like there's nothing to do so we were just yeah. like hanging out which was fine because we we're good friends but yeah. we're like it's kind of cool. shitty. It's kind of like a, a... To go out to a place is kind of like a, a nice way to like... At least have Set things, the mood, yeah, you know. Have things to talk about or Set, stuff like that. Set the mood, Jared. <laughs> <laughs> and earlier, we were actually just talking about how like... How our friends... Um, like, if we were to go home and we were to ask somebody like... Oh, like, hey, can I stay at your place for a little bit or something like that? Like, yeah. Every, like all our friends would be very open to it, I feel like, like. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I feel like I could ask my friend's parents. Yeah, wow. Parents. Yeah. Sorry. If I went, Riley Gallagher, if I went to old Mike and Chris and were like, hey, you mind if I stay here for my leave? They'd be, oh, sure. <laughs> Welcome. Welcome. <laughs> um, but even they were saying, like, because they're we're both from California, like a lot of yeah. stuff is like shut down, shut down over there. Yeah, bad. And so like compared to other places, one for sure. guy like I have friends who live together, and they'll like be FaceTiming one other friend, and this dude is all like, I don't even know how to be social anymore. <laughs> like, I don't know how to talk to people now. <laughs> I've been inside for six months. Jesus. So that's something to think about, which is I feel like there's memes about it out. But I feel like it's valid to the point where, like, some people probably, like, don't get it. Or, like, those people who are, like, Very just sh- turned 18 yeah. and, like, into 19 just or 20 into 21. 19. They've, like, never been out to a bar to drink unless yeah. you had a fake then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We don't. We don't support things like that. But, actually, another thing about Discord. Uh, Emer actually told me about it. Or she brought it up in a conversation we were having. Like... If if all this COVID stuff wasn't going on, like Discord is a nice way to like if you want to hang out with your friends you can. But then like if you get sick and tired of like hanging out or you just want to go do something else, you can just literally end the call. Poop. You're like, hey, I'm I'm going now, guys. All right, see you later. Boop. But then like if you were to go hang out with friends like out in town, and you're like hanging out and you're just like, man. And I'm your not. social meter runs out. And your social meter runs out and you just want to go home but you just feel bad. You don't really want to just like, oh yeah, hey, but I'm peacing out right now, you guys. Yeah, you know, it's yeah, kind of yeah, like, it's, a, it's, it's a harder. It's a social situation yeah, for sure. It's harder to, to just kind of disappear like that, you know. Which is actually pretty funny though. Cause, yeah, yeah, it's a good point. Yeah. Um, I always feel it's like a phone call. Yeah. Damn, girl. I always feel like it's Damn, like a bro. phone call to where like I have to say bye to everybody. <laughs> but like the other day I was like, all right, like I'm going. So I just like dipped out. Yeah. I'm assuming nobody said anything, but I wouldn't know. I mean, I did. I noticed you left. Aww. Dude. Me, huh? <laughs> but yeah, I think I feel like my friends have been doing well back at home too. Even with the coronavirus and all this stuff. Yeah, my friend's a teacher. Mm-hmm. And they opened... Ooh, how's that? They opened her school back up halfway. It's like hybrid. So like uh, half of the kids... Bless you. Say like in her class, half of the kids are in class and half of the kids do at-home learning and they like switch off every week. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah. That would be a bitch though to clean up every like all the classrooms all the time. Yeah. But, uh, like every, I don't like, know if period. that's actually part of her duty. Yeah. Well, she's an elementary school teacher. Oh, okay. So oh, okay. It's so it's like not like one class okay. per day. All the same students. She's like a sub right now. Mm-hmm. 
And then my other friend is like a, all my other friends work in like engineering type jobs. But my other friend yeah. satellites is a, and shit. Satellites and shit is yeah. a dance teacher. Dude, for little kids like oh, nice. like two to thirteen year old or something like that. You can dance at two. I guess. <laughs> but like they still have That's their cool. they still have their classes going on and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, I think like with reduced capacity, uh, to say the least. But obviously, like, a lot of people have been saying, like, they still have businesses to run. They still have, like, that's their livelihood, you know. That's how they make their money. Yeah. Do you get your Yeah. Oh. Do you want some beer? Do you want some beer? Is that just fucking tequila over here or what? Yeah. What? I have to be ready when we drink in Discord. (laughs) (laughs) Whoops. It's kind of sad, though, because, like, this COVID stuff, like... At, at, at the time we're at right now... Lada, why are you sad? <laughs> what got, is that noise? I got a message out. Message! <laughs> when, uh... When... At the point we are right now for our ship, we technically had a lot of free time, like, after work, or we can make free time for ourselves. Yeah. And we could have went out to, like, divisional outings and things yeah. like that. <laughs> Dude, normal nice stuff. Nice home impression. Stuff that we would normally do <laughs> in it's, in non-COVID times. Like yeah. division, this is like a time frame for us in which like we go and do those bonding stuffs where we like yeah. go out to get food or we go out to go drink at a bar or yeah. go into karaoke playground. Play Korean tag at a playground. A Korean tag. Yeah, it's where you're you can't go. It's like league. You can't go off the jungle gym. <laughs> Racist. Wait, why? That's part of the game. So like being racist? No. <laughs> getting off the jungle gym. So like is and the person who uh is trying to get you yeah. uh has a blindfold on. That's terrifying. Yeah. So they like walk towards you, but you're restricted to being on the jungle gym. That's so something like, you wanted to do. However you division? can crawl around. That's what we used to play in when we were like fourteen. We'd oh, like nice. go to a playground that nobody else went to and play Korean tag. <laughs> Nice. Why is Korean it called tag? Korean tag? I don't know. Cause never mind. One of your Korean friends call it tag, and no, you're like, oh, gonna, yeah, my Korean friend I called it tag. Gonna, so. I was going to say because we have our eyes closed. but <laughs> <laughs> Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> That's oh the crude stuff I'm talking God, about. Like. Jesus. Oh so my, <laughs> my friends that I hung out with, like they came up with this game shame, shame. before I started hanging out with them. So it could very well that could be why but I never really asked and they never really told me they are like we're just gonna play Korean tag I was like okay <laughs> you're fucking there's two Filipino oh people here God. there's a Korean person here so like, I'm guessing it could've been Filipino tag oh there's probably not like coconuts and rice or something yeah <laughs> I could say they're that they're like Filipino tag that's fucking just scalping Jesus. tilapia you can't <laughs> We're gonna go throw, play Filipino you, tag. You throw, <laughs> you throw like lumpia at each other yeah. like to, to tag them. Oh fuck! You hit me with the lumpia. Oh, this lumpia so good. <laughs> Winner gets ube. Dude, you are Filipino. I told you. Oh my god. But <laughs> yeah, we basically get a miss out on like doing things like that. Dude, what? <laughs> Yo, what's this guy's deal? I don't know. You went. You're not pooping outside. You went your pee. I already fed you. You got water. You just want attention because you've been home, al- uh, 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 <laughs> home alone all day. Dude, I was reading the movie. other day that beagles are actually very social dogs and they're like, they have a big uh, pack mentality. Mm-hmm. So I was telling my girlfriend that it might be, <laughs> oh it, my God. it may be harder, but it might make things easier in the long run if... You got her, like, another dog dog or cat to, like, hang out with while we're gone at work because we're gone at work for, although less time now, it's going to start ramping back up to where we're gone at work more time. Yeah. And you're going to be so sad. My dog Brownie has Yogi, so. Look at her lips. (laughs) Yeah, exactly. See, I feel like a lot of dogs. Come here. You want beer? Jesus. (laughs) Jesus. <laughs> she likes beer though. I've given her some. I've given her a golden monkey before. She's like, this is delicious. What the fuck is wrong with you? Anyways. <laughs> yeah. Um, we do miss out on a lot of stuff like that. And I feel like 
Last time, do you feel like we did that a lot last time we were in the yards, or was that just like more casually going out and drinking? Like, it was more afterward? casually going out and drinking. Yeah. And with the new set of but people, but still, that even are here, that was there. You know? Yeah. And I was I was fairly new at that time. Yeah. So we didn't do we haven't we didn't have the chain of command at that time that facilitated a lot of like. Oh, let's go do like, like fun stuff during the workday type stuff. Yeah, um, we kind of have that more so now, but obviously we can't do any of that stuff. Yeah, so which is uh, sad. It's really, it's really gotten us good. Yeah, and also like, we're since we can't go out to like restaurants and things like that, we want we were trying to go out like hiking or going to like some what was it like the forest or something like yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> You know, the game. The forest. <laughs> With the cannibals and shit. Uh. <laughs> but, I mean, that's for a future plan now. But it's like... But stuff like that's allowed, apparently. Yeah. And it's 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 kind of pushing people to kind of do things like that now. Because, yeah. like, even... Uh, that's even, funny. Me and Jared were talking about this when we went... Because we ended up going to the... This motherfucker just cut me off right now. Shut up. Okay. We ended up going... That's right. Toast my bread, bitch. <laughs> Can I can I talk about that? No. Okay. He's gonna get in trouble. <laughs> uh, that's what happens when I have. Dude, fucking continue your story, bro. What the fuck is wrong with oh, you? sorry. Um, <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> we were saying, like, do you think these people would have come out here normally, or is this something they're doing just because, like, this is one of the only things they can do now? You know? Oh, and you went back to California. No, when I was in, uh, when I was up in Richmond. Yeah. Oh, okay. Because we went out to this island that's like called Bell Isle. It's like mm. a fucking old hydroelectric plant that is like all mm. ruinous now. Yeah, I went there too. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You know about it. You know the vibes. Um, <laughs> so I agree that that's kind of pushing people to do that stuff. Yeah. I don't know. An officer on our ship went skiing a couple weeks ago. And somebody was all like, oh, like, well, it's an outside activity, so she's fine. And I was like, yeah, yeah but you don't know what a fucking ski lodge is? Like... <laughs> You're going you know, inside. It's like going into yeah. a public place again. Yeah, and then the, the hotel. Did the hotel get checked out? Make sure they're COVID free. Like, yeah, you guys aren't checking any of that stuff, right? And they're like, no. <laughs> That's the disparity in between officers and enlisted. Jeez. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. But I, I definitely believe that it's be- like pushing people to do more outdoor things. Obviously, now myself, but still, I'm people. getting in there, folks. I'm getting them there. <laughs> But it's like people were like talking about like they went on bike rides with their girlfriend or something like that, or yeah. they go on hikes or you know just things like that. Dude, or once it starts warming up, we're gonna go to Raging Waters. All right. <laughs> they don't know what that is. Raging Waters. Oh, it's a water park. It's a water park in San Dimas. Yeah, California. It's a California thing. Is it? It's a California thing. Yeah. Is it really? It's not even a, like in comparison to the water parks around the country. That one's like trash. Yeah. Really? Oh, yeah, that's yeah, so yeah, sad. Yeah. <laughs> Like it's I love Raging Waters. Like it's good, but like some places have some fucking nutso rides. Well, you slide me down with some nuts. The one they have like 150 foot drops. Get it. Uh, like Jesus. you get in the thing and it's like three, oh. two, one. <laughs> and you just like fall down the fucking tube. Jesus. Probably can't even help you there. That's pretty cool. And dude, even amusement parks. You can't even go to amusement yeah, parks, bro. I do like oh and my such. god. Like last time in Halloween time. Was nice. Like, not last time. Not last year, but the year before last. Yeah. Um, I went to The Moon in nineteen sixty nine. Not nineteen seventy, but uh you soon nerd. <laughs> Me and my friends attended Halloween Horror Nights. Got your stupid ass. <laughs> At the Six Flags. Oh, my God. Uh, which is pretty fun. Like the Horror Nights and shit like that? Yeah, yeah. The Horror Nights? Yeah. I've I've been to Universal's. Was that one in Calgary? Yeah, it was like a long time ago, though, like when The Walking Dead was still like popping and shit. Uh, so they were like, you're like, these zombies are slow as fuck. <laughs> no, but it's... It's like you miss those moments, like those times, though. You yeah. Know? Like, do you even, do you even think we're gonna get back? Do you to ever feel like, like a plastic bag? Like a plastic bag? Do you ever feel? Do you ever feel? It's a deployment original, right like there. Like a plastic bag. Like a plastic bag. Okay. But it's like you you definitely miss out on things like that. Yeah. Now. Like you can go out and do awesome things like going out and all during Halloween or you can't go out to amusement parks, watch movies. Like you're having to like 
do class and online now for sure. Yeah. Or just watch and movies like, that come out. You have to watch them online now. You know, it's just like real shitty. And like I'm a like I was saying earlier, I'm a big, I'm a very social person. So the fact that I can't do these things, I'm just yeah. like. Yeah. Now it just feels like you're breaking the rules if you even do it. Yeah. But we don't do that because we follow the rules. Rule followers. Rule followers. Two brown and down. <laughs> and sunny. And sunny. <laughs> yeah. Just wanted to be included. She's just an attention whore. But actually, I remember seeing um, a video clip of this kid that was in class, like a Zoom class, Mm -hmm. and he was playing League of Legends. And he got like, he got like fucked up in the game, and he was like raging. He's like, no, I'm fucking done. I'm fucking sick of this shit. I hate this game. I'm fucking done. And he was unmuted. Nice. So the teacher heard everything. This game, this whole (laughs) Zoom class... Thing has made lots of funny incidents. <laughs> yeah. Like it's a whole new brand of humor that nobody ever had thought of before because there's yeah. never an instance for it. Like I've seen people get like kidnapped by their friends during a Zoom class. <laughs> or like one friend just for the content. Yeah, one oh, friend. Oh, yeah, see, just give her loving. <laughs> this dude just like ran up to his roommate and like knocked him over and just like ran away. <laughs> and his roommate like gets back up and he's all like. <laughs> huh? Yeah, what? <laughs> oh god. We had a teacher was like, who, "Who is that? Who Who is that? What are you is somebody doing something else?" And they don't know the camera's on. They're just like taking fat ribs out of a fucking joint. <laughs> oh yeah, that was just my brother. Yeah, sorry, sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shoddy. But yeah, this, the world this has definitely changed. It's so sad. Do you think it'll ever return to normal? Do you ever feel? <laughs> Honestly, I don't know. Even with the even with the with the vaccines and stuff like that. Yeah. Like it's really hard to say. Cause Actually, go ahead. It's because it's like, it's by choice. You know, like people. It's not obviously not a mandatory thing. Like even for the military, we we got um, our CEO talked to our division in the, individually. Uh, that doesn't make to sense. take the vaccine to either take the vaccine or at least give more information about it you know and just kind of notify us and what's going to be happening because soon. the vaccine hasn't been fully fully approved by the FDA they are not requiring military members to take it yeah it's all optional for us still so it's just like do you really think it's all going to go back to normal if no, what, not everybody gets the vaccine you know it's still going to be there yeah. you know it's going to be like the flu it's never going away yeah, yeah it's going to be like the flu and it's going to like what I think happened, like in Africa, I think another strand of the virus came back out. Yeah. Or it came out. Oh, so you do read. Uh, what? And then it's just like I don't know, like with the social distancing and all that kind of stuff. Like I don't think it's at least not anytime soon. It's gonna revert back to what it was. Yeah. Like it's gonna maybe even. I was the reading year. today. Somebody's on deployment right now, and. They've had a slow rollout process for them, but their crew has all gotten the vaccine. Yeah. Like oh, the really? full thing. Uh-huh. And because they've all gotten the vaccine, they are no longer required to wear their mask underway now. Oh, wow. So they did like a whole celebration out on the forecastle. Like everybody threw their mask. Like they took a big picture. Everybody like throwing their mask off. And wow. they all had like cake and ice cream. And polluted the, the water. No, not into the water. <laughs> Dude. So they USA. had like USA. <laughs> they had cake and ice cream like to celebrate that they don't have to wear their mask on board anymore. Wow, that's actually really cool. That'd be a huge morale boost for me. Yeah, if, that, if I was that'd on, be really like, cool. A four month, four months into a deployment, and it's it's just annoying, dude. Like you the have to be are six closed y- underway. Oh yeah, that's what I was worried about. That's what I'm worried about. I mean, it's just like, face masks being six feet apart all the time. You think the you like know, old. Like, do you think like the old Chinese people who've like always worn them all these years are like, like hmm, yeah. I've been training for this all my life. <laughs> I predicted this was going to happen. Pussies. <laughs> yeah, it's just, I don't know. I, I mean, I obviously, I hope it comes back to, it goes back to normal soon, but uh, at the rate we're going at right now, I don't think it's going to be anytime soon. Even though if the even the vaccine is coming out and more and more people are getting it, yeah. it's just I don't think it's gonna happen anytime soon. To at least get like bars back open normally, not yeah. only like ten people allowed at the time. You know what I mean? True, true. And 
like how you were saying earlier, like, oh, yeah, like, 18-year-olds or, like, you know, people that just turned 21, like, they're not going to have that full-on experience of being 21. Being yeah. able to, like, go out. Yeah. Go out. Go bar hopping. Because at this point, like it's that. been two years now, right? A year? Uh, a year. A year. A little bit over February. a year. So somebody has February, March, actually, almost been year. 20. Yeah. They couldn't go out then, and now they're 21, mm-hmm. and they still can't go out. Can't really go out. Right? Yeah. Like, like they, a full night. Yeah. They could go buy alcohol. Yeah. Cool. But they can't like, they can't have a, a bar hopping uh, rager and yeah, shit. You know, a fucking day drinking day that turns into a night drinking night. We're like, all right, we're only gonna get brunch and then fucked up at twelve and you're just gonna rage on. Is that just you're me? alcoholic. <laughs> as I give me that beer. As I drink this beer, <laughs> he just pounds it, <laughs> pulls out a straw. <laughs> Yeah. Nice. I lo- yeah, I love you. What? All right, too much beer for you. Too much beer for me. That's it. You cut off. <laughs> I feel like, too, there's been a bigger boom. Because with the... Boom. With the bigger... With the bigger surgeons of people, like, staying indoors and playing with their friends online, mm-hmm. there's been more of a demand for games that feed that market of like oh we all get together and we play this game now yeah because yeah. this these servers huge and there's 26 people that can play all together or whatever you know yeah, what i mean for sure um like among us was a small indie game that came out like three years ago at this point yeah. and just this past year since people were indoors they discovered it boom and then among us just boom boom took off <laughs> like yeah they're gonna make a second one they're like Scratch that. We're not making a second one. We're just gonna make this first one better. Better. Yeah. And then mods came out for it, and like big time people were playing it. Yeah. A bunch of indie games that didn't think they were gonna be so successful. Like Fall Guys. Like Fall Guys. Yeah. yeah. Got super successful because people were like, "Fuck it, I'll play, play this game." Yeah, because they're all at home. Yeah. And the stimmies though. Fall Guys is fun. The stimmy checks. Those stimmy no, checks. Stimmy Those check. stimmy checks. Those stimmy checks. What's up, bro? Yeah. And it's obviously it's really shitty because a lot of people are unemployed and things like that. But, but I've been I've like talked to people stimulus. and they were like they're employed getting their stimulus checks. Yeah. And they were like, hopefully the stimulus checks works out so I can get finish my tattoo. And I was like, I don't, <laughs> I don't think that's what that's for. I don't think that's what that stimulus check is for. <laughs> but I mean, it's your money, so I can't really yeah. say. But I'm just saying, like. Yeah. But it's it's kind of. said, I don't need a stimulus dude, check. This motherfucker's interrupting me again. One. He interrupted me again. What are you going to say? It's I don't know. I, can, say. I can't fucking remember now. <laughs> it's tough to say. I love you. I love you. Where are you? And I'm so sorry. Like Phasmophobia. That was a good Huge game. one. Huge Horror one. games, I feel like, E, have been coming out a lot too. Behind. Like the one you were talking about today? E. Oh, Labyrinthine? No. Uh, little nightmares or something. Oh, little nightmare too. Yeah, yeah. Like I've seen, I'm seeing more and more horror games like that where like horror. a co-op. What? Yeah, a, a co-op game is occurring. Right it's now. not a co-op game. It's a single player game. You're a fucking bot. Little nightmare. I thought it was single player. Why would I be get it if it was a single player? <laughs> to fucking play this game. How would we play together? I didn't ask you to get it. Yeah, you did. No, I did. You literally it. told me about I it. I told you that it's don't a game bring I'm work gonna... home. Okay. You know what? I we're, need another beer. We're ending this. <laughs> well, regardless of that, even with single player games, with myself, I've been using Twitch a lot. True. So, even if I'm playing a single player game, there's other people watching, and it's just, you know, communicating. Interacting with, with you, yeah. That's also very true, yeah. So, that's also a, a plus for <laughs> uh, playing games at home. And if you guys didn't hear already, my Twitch is, uh, Where's Ken? Nice plug. Thanks. That's Where's Ken? Twitch. Yeah, twitch.tv. Also join <laughs> our Discord, Fusion Gaming. Yeah. And uh, it's going to be Warfighters. We're going to have a Warfighters Discord soon coming out soon. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So if you're a vet. <laughs> yeah, if you're a vet. You're in. <laughs> I'll to that. To the veterans. Uh. <laughs> You're such a creep, Sonny. <laughs> She's like staring at us through the curtain. It's like... And now crying. Oh. 
the time. Time. <laughs> e. <laughs> You know that's from Phasma, right? Yeah. yeah. Where are you? That's from Phasma too, but my friend Ken says it all the time. <laughs> Behind. But, um... Shh. Hey! It's your boy, Skinny P. What? <laughs> um, Sorry, I totally ruined it for you. <laughs> I'm so off track now in my head. All right, we're going to end it here, you guys. Uh, that was episode 22. You were listening to Two Brown and Down... Catch us in a week and a half. Yeah. Where Kulata cancels on me to play Valorant with his friends. <laughs> that's not the reason why this came out late. Prost. But yeah, that's kind of the reason why it came out late. <laughs> <laughs> uh, follow Ken at. Dude. Brownie Ken with two N's on Instagram. Jamaramaram with. On Instagram. Two, three M's on Instagram. <laughs> what? J A M A R A M A R A M. Yeah, for all you guys that can only hear the podcast. Uh, anyways, and uh, on my YouTube and Twitch, where's Ken? And make sure also to follow us on our Two Brown and Down Instagram called Two Brown and Down and the Discord for Fusion Gaming. Shout out to Fusion Gaming. E. <laughs> this I've been me. I've and- been you. And that's a good night. No bars. <laughs> Oops. Still saying what an ex is. Forgot about others in a second when we text and pointed her. Be direct. The only time she gripped the weapon. The only time I bought a section. Cause I didn't want to share. First time without a wig. Cause my hands all in her hair. Something like my southern comfort That I hope won't be depleted Cause she's risky off of whiskey And her form is undefeated She used to be a gymnast I told her I could tell Work three months at the strip I'm like, oh, for real? I'm lying, I seen you there But I kept it to myself Wanted you to feel comfortable with me More than anyone else She just smiled the way she do When I feel my heart melt And I kiss the lips deeper than she's ever felt We block out all distractions Haters in the background Still kissing in public Like it's nobody around And I'm diving I'm dying I love it Legs on my shoulders so I can't see nothing above it I'm diving